So we've got something a little bit different for you today. This little saddle pouch here replaces this. This is actually a small sized saddle bag. And you can see the typical things you put in it. We all as riders get to know what we want to carry. And in this case, it's going on a tubeless bike. So we need a multi-tool with a chain link breaker. We need CO2 to reinflate the tire should it go down with a puncture, a spare chain link, and of course a dyno plug to plug any hole that the sealant itself won't plug. And a trusty 10 pound note, always good to take one of those on a ride. So this is the things that this person is wanting to carry in a saddle bag. And we're gonna make a custom bag perfect size because we're all fussy about sizes and even the smallest of bags with this small amount of stuff is too big so first of all I make these custom bags out of elastic that allows for maybe something else to be squeezed in but also it grips whatever you're putting in it to stop it rattling against itself so they're silent once they're on the bike so initially we're just getting the shape and size that we want so we're going to stitch this seam here this is the first seam to join the bag. This will be in the center at the back, so you won't see it once it's done. I run up and down this two or three times to make it real strong. Then we do a little test fit on the items just to make sure we've got that seam roughly in the right place, which we have. So now we glue this seam back on itself. And uh, this is a contact adhesive that I use, and we wait for that to go off, and then we just feather that back on itself and stitch each side of that central seam. Just adds a little bit of strength, a little bit of durability to it. So you can see we're now just stitching up there. And I always really enjoy making these little saddlebags because I try to make them as small as possible. And they are literally a custom bag, so if ever you wanted one of these, you need to bring in what you want in it, and uh, we'll make one to fit. And you also need to bring the bike because we make them, as you'll see as we go, to fit your bike. So they are absolutely custom to your specifications and what you need in the bike. So we've weighed up the height that we need the bag to be to fit everything in or the length of it I suppose you would say so we're just running that seam along the bottom this will become the bottom of the bag and give that a little cut out so I also just melt the tips although rubber uh, is used for elastic it's also got some nylons in the thread so I just melt those off to make sure they're nice turn the bag inside out so now we can just do a test fit of all the parts that we want to put in there you can see everything's slotting in there nicely now and that's beginning to fit nicely next up we want to weigh up where we're going to put our straps to make this really tight under the seat and then we just want to make a, a leather flap little you know cover for it the leather i use is chrome leather it's um you'll see as i cut that it's got that little white layering inside that that's actually makes leather a little bit more waterproof than perhaps a suede or a standard leather so that's what we've got here is a piece of chrome leather and then we just stitch the little toggles on, the little D-rings, I suppose you would call those, plastic, so that they don't rust. And begin to weigh this up, make sure everything's in the right place. Next up we cut our Velcro straps and begin to get everything in place. So we sort of do it in stages, we try parts and you know if they go if they're not right then we can remake them to, to fit perfectly. So this is our little first little Velcro strap, this would be the one that's the bike that the saddlebag hangs from under the saddle and then this one is the sort of the big loop strap that, that pulls it all tight so we just get those stitched on there and then we're now stitching it onto the pouch the actual cover so everything goes in and now we can begin to test fit so we get everything back in there check that it's all right so the first strap is the one under the saddle this is sort of traditionally one that would be adjustable on a normal saddle bag but we're making this custom so it has to be exactly the right length so we stitch on the other part of the velcro so as it can pull back on itself velcro is really good for this because it's weatherproof it's durable it can be adjusted and changed if needed and i just also just stitch a little leather tip on the end of it to give you something to locate against so you can see that's now really tight under there and next up we're just weighing up the length for the cover i'll give this a little curve it just makes it sit nicely on the top so as it doesn't stick out and that's now beginning to look really nice another little end tip on the strap just to finish that off nicely rather than just a velcro end and you can see this is really beginning to come along now a little bit of stitching on here so now we can test fit so 10 pound note multi-tool with a chain link the chain link itself, CO2 canister, CO2 deployer, and the dyno plug pack. 
and you can see the difference in those size. That one on the right there is a small saddlebag that you would buy. It's the smallest one I currently sell that's not custom. So you can see the difference in the sizes. So now we're just fitting this up. The top strap is always a little bit of a fiddle because it's tight. And then we've got this, the cover, which sits around the seat post. And you can see that looks lovely. So we can just open that up, it stays on the bike and you can pull out whatever you need and repair your bike or get home and everything's nice and tight.